Good evening, everybody. If you could take your seats, we're going to begin in just a couple of minutes. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, members of the Board of Education, central administration, building administrators, parents, and friends. Welcome to the 2021 commencement ceremony of Warren Woods Tower High School and the 55th commencement of the school district. We did it. My name is Mike McKenzie, and I'm proud to be the principal at Warren Woods Tower High School. There are some special medallions, tassels, cords that are being worn by some of our seniors tonight. The gold medallions worn around the neck distinguishes members of the National Honor Society. Officers of the National Honor Society wear blue and gold cords. Tassels and stoles are being worn by some of our students tonight. Students wearing right, white tassels and stoles are graduating with the designation of summa cum laude with highest honor. Blue tassels designate magna cum laude with high honor. Yellow tassels des designate cum laude with honor. All students are wearing a cord that represents one of the six career pathways they have chosen. Blue represents arts and communication. Purple represents health sciences. Gray represents engineering, manufacturing, and industrial technology. Yellow represents business, management, marketing, and technology. Green represents natural resources and agri-science. And brown represents human services. This evening's processional is led by staff members from our elementary schools, as well as our middle and high school. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for pomp and circumstance.
Please remain standing. Please remain standing for a recording from the Warren Woods Tower Choir of our national anthem. I am proud to present to you the Warren Woods Tower High School class of 2021. Graduates, please be seated. The audience may also be seated. At this time, I'd like to introduce Ms. Hannah Dutz, Student Council President, who will introduce our distinguished guest. Hannah is a summa cum laude graduate. She is a member of Student Council for four years, four-year member of marching band, as well as the drumline section leader. She was also a freshman mentor leader for two years, a senior class officer with the role of historian, and a student representative for our Board of Education for three years. She was involved in track and field as a four-year four -year varsity participant, earning her MAC, discus, and shot put championships. Her honors include the Philip A. Hart Memorial Scholarship, a full academic scholarship to Lake Superior State University, where she will be attending school in the fall to study nursing. I present to you Ms. Hannah Dutz.
Thank you, thank you Mr. McKenzie. I would like to direct your attention to the first baseline and introduce the Warren Woods Boards of Education administrative members. School Board President, Mr. Jerry Green. School Board Vice President, Mr. Michael Schulte. School Board Secretary, Ms. Kay Walsh. School Board Treasurer, Mr. Paul Zanetti. School Board Trustee, Mr. Michael Fitzpatrick. School Board Trustee, Mr. Michael Garcia. School Board Trustee, Mr. Scott Hiller. Curriculum Director, Ms. Kara Beal. Special Services Director, Ms. Stacy Sward. Special Education Supervisor, Ms. Tamara Polowski. CTE Director, Mr. Stephen Kay. Warren Woods Middle School Principal, Mr. Donnie Sikora. Pinewood Elementary Principal, Mr. Scott Keen. I would like to now direct your attention to the administration members on stage. Superintendent, Ms. Stacy Denowith Fici. Deputy Superintendent, Mr. Neil Casabon. WWT Principal, Mr. Michael McKenzie. WWT Assistant Principal, Ms. Colleen Grubin. WWT Assistant Principal, Mr. Ian Fredlin. I would like to now introduce to, to the graduating seniors on stage. WWT Senior, Ms. Jewel Jahans. WWT Senior, Mr. Tyler Scripjack. Class President, Ms. Kara Sanders. Class Vice President, Ms. Kendall Widener. Class Treasurer, Ms. Damalola Olabanji. Class Secretary, Megan Fanazzo. I would now like to introduce you to the Class of 2021 Advisors. Class Advisor, Mr. Kevin Hustick. And Class Advisor, Ms. Andrea Kalaluka. And I can just leave it. Thank you, Hannah. I would now like to introduce the president of the class of 2021, Ms. Kara Sanders. Kara, Kara has been a member of student council for four years, a class officer for four years, serving as president her junior and senior year. Kara was a freshman mentor leader for two years, and she was also a student representative for our board of education for three years. In addition, she was a DECA member for three years, earning a state qualification and being named the MCTEE Outstanding Senior. Kara was voted to both the Senior Homecoming Court and Prom Court. Kara plans to attend Wayne State University in the fall to study secondary education. I present to you Ms. Kara Sanders. Thank you, Mr. McKenzie. Good evening, staff members, administration, school board members, family, friends, and most importantly, the class of 2021. I am honored to give this welcoming address. Four years ago, we all walked through the doors of Warren Woods Tower High School as nervous, but excited 14-year-olds 
wondering what our high school journey would bring us. Now we are leaving as ambitious young adults ready to take on the daunting life, yet exciting life, after high school. When I was trying to write this speech, it was so hard to figure out what I wanted to say because the class of 2021 has left a huge impact on me. And there are so many great things our class has accomplished. Each year, we took Spirit Week and Pep Rally to the next level, earned state championships, created everlasting bonds, and spent countless hours on our class floats. A big thank you to my parents for hosting every year. They dealt with our crazy, but more importantly, they welcomed every student into our driveway and treated all of my classmates as if they were their own. Another special thank you to our class advisors, Mr. Hustick and Mrs. Koluka. They devoted their time to help us guide our class throughout the past four years. As a class, we are all so lucky to be together today. At the beginning of the year, like many, I didn't think we would be graduating together as the class of 2021. Over the years, we have heard teachers and administration say that our class is so special and unique. And I always knew that, but I never truly knew why until this year. As we reflect on this, on this year, this is an, it is undeniable that our class is one that will never be forgotten. This was a year of unknowns. Some of us attended in person while others opened up Microsoft Teams every day, not knowing what the following day, let alone the entire year, would bring us. We learned to take nothing for granted and lived in the present, one day at a time. Something I learned this year, and I think we all learned, was the meaning of perseverance, which is defined as persistence in doing something despite difficulty or delay in achieving success. Our class is a true example of what perseverance means. From constantly switching face-to-face -to, -face to remote learning, to missing the chance to finally win pep rally, something that we all know should have happened some years ago, to not being able to cheer on our Titan athletes, listening to band performances, and watching our peers showcase their talents in musicals. And last but not least, losing out on our last year of hanging out in the commons and waiting for Mr. Fredlin to yell at us to get to class. These are just some examples of what we lost out on. Along with events we lost out on, we did have unforgettable moments such as prom and virtual competitions. No matter the circumstances, our class came together and found a way to make our senior year not only possible, but unforgettable. As we leave high school, we are entering a new world and returning to normals, normalcy. Both can seem scary, but we are prepared. No matter if you're entering the workforce, going to college, enlisting in the military, or going to trade school. If any year prepared us for this exact moment, it has been this year. But our journey was not limited to just one year. Throughout our time in Warren Woods, the staff has supported us, helped us grow, and loved us wholeheartedly. Mr. McKenzie was not lying when he said, Tower has one of the, be the best staffs around. 
Now it is our turn to move on, but not forget. President John F. Kennedy once said, we have the power to make this the best generation of mankind in the history of the world or make it last. Thank you all for the, mem for the memories and letting me serve as your president. But now it is our time to part ways and go, and go to new adventures, never forgetting relationships, friendships, bonds that were all made together. Congratulations to the class of 2021. We are the future. Thank you, Kara. Despite the efforts of, the Warren, of Mr. Corpus and the Warren Woods Star Choir, we were not able to have a live performance of It's Time to Go, a WWT commencement tradition. However, like much this year, we improvised, not wanting to lose the tradition. So at this time, please enjoy the WWT Choir performance from 2019 commencement, featuring many of our current seniors.
All 21 of our summa cum laude graduates were given the opportunity to submit a speech for the commencement exercises. Chosen by a distinguished panel to make this evening's commencement address is Mr. Tyler Skripchak. Tyler is a summa cum laude graduate. He was a National Honor Society member for two years. In addition, Tyler is a three-year varsity track member and a four-year varsity soccer player earning all-state honorable mention and MAC Gold Division Most Valuable Player. His honors include the President's Education Excellence Awards and Macomb All-Academic Team Honorable Mention. Tyler plans to attend the University of Michigan and study chemical engineering. I present to you Mr. Tyler Skripchak. Good evening, Warren Woods Tower administration, parents, families, and class of 2021. To begin tonight, I would like to take you guys back in time, back to our freshman year. Now, I know many of you wouldn't actually want to go back, and believe me, I don't either. Remember our freshman orientation when we first entered what seemed to be a labyrinth of halls and stairs known as Warren Woods Tower. I remember gazing in awe at the seniors congregating in the commons, wondering if that would ever be us. Spoiler alert, it wouldn't. <laughs> that, however, is beside the point. Sitting in the auditorium, Mr. McKenzie delivered his signature line, closing out his speech, alerting us of our graduation date and the impossibly fast pace at which these four years would fly by. The date might have changed, but the latter half of his claim did come true. I'm standing here in front of all of you, clad in caps and gowns, and I feel like it was just yesterday that we were in the bleachers with our red Lightning Queen shirts, uh, the only worry on our minds being the rest of the school chanting at us to shut up. <laughs> While our senior year was anything but traditional, I feel that just gives this day more meaning. Every single one of us here today has dealt with unprecedented amounts of stress, from canceled SATs to wondering if we'll get a single normal senior event this year. It hasn't been easy, but we all made it. Each person here today has managed to graduate and determine their pathway for the future, all while grappling with the difficulty that the pandemic has brought into our lives. I am beyond happy to be here and attain even a limited sense of normality in these trying times, and I commend the perseverance you all have. As we leave high school and enter in the real world, into colleges, trades, full-time jobs, part-time jobs, gap years, or wherever else your heart is leading you, I want to leave you with some words of encouragement. As Henry David Thoreau once said, if a man does not keep pace with his companions, perhaps it is because he hears a different drummer. Let him step to the music he hears, however measured or far away. Wherever you end up, be proud of it. Your calling is different than my calling. Success is an arbitrary thing, but I believe true success is found when you follow the passions of your heart. Do not let society define you. Be bold, true to yourself, and love one another. After my four years at Tower, I like to think I've gotten to know many of you pretty well. And I know if you stick to what Thoreau said and follow the sound of your own drummer, each and every person in this crowd will be wildly successful. I urge all of you to go out into the world with fervor. Give your all in everything you do, and success will surely follow. The class of 2021 can change the world. In addition to all of the regular skills of a high school graduate, we have persevered through a global pandemic together. I now want to step back and take a moment to personally thank the people in my life who have helped me through these times. Thank you to my parents for supporting me through everything and for instilling in me the values that have shaped me into the young man you see on this stage today. I also want to thank the Warren Woods Tower administration and teachers who worked so hard to preserve the specialness of our senior year. You guys are amazing. And finally, thank you to all of my classmates. I'm glad I was able to befriend many of you and attend school alongside all of you. Again, congratulations Warren Woods Tower class of 2021. I wish all of you the very best in any endeavors you pursue. Now go, follow the beat of your drum and show the world what it truly means to be a Titan. God bless and have a good evening.
Thank you, Tyler. The students of the class of 2021 have distinguished themselves in many ways. 14 are members of the National Honor Society, 21 graduate summa cum laude, 21 graduate magna cum laude, and 24 graduate cum laude. 66 received the President's Academic Award of, for Excellence. 102 seniors took advanced placement exams. 46 seniors took the calculus advanced placement. 101 seniors took English advanced placement. 12 seniors took physics. 29 seniors took biology. 47 seniors took world history placement exam. One senior took the US history placement exam. 87 seniors took statistics. 16 seniors took chemistry advanced placement and 75 seniors took the computer science principals placement exam. One senior was named the Macomb County Principals Honorable Mention All Academic Team. 20 students joined HOSA. HOSA students participated in the Gift of Life Challenge to help raise awareness and participation for Oregon donation. Students bought and donated coloring books and crayons for Children's Hospital of Michigan. 53 members of the band are seniors. 32 members of the choir are seniors. The Warren Woods Tower Marching Band earned a Division rating, Division I rating at the MSBOA Marching Band Festival in the fall. 77 seniors participated in sports, with 37 senior athletes graduating with a 3.5 or higher. 10 seniors won all-conference honors. Five received all-district, seven received all-county. Six athletes earned all-state recognition in wrestling, swimming, and bowling. Seven dual and MAC championships were won by our seniors. Boys and girls bowling were undefeated, both winning their division this year. Boys tennis and boys soccer won their second MAC division championship in a row. Boys and girls swimming and competitive cheer all won their division and tournament championships. Wrestling was district and regional champ in 2018, 19, 20, and 21, qualifying for state all four years. The following sports won all academic honors. Girls tennis for four years. Boys tennis for four years. Girls basketball for four years. Volleyball for four years. Girls bowling for four years. Wrestling for two years. Cross country for three years. Girls soccer for three years. And baseball for one year. Four teams won the coveted sportsmanship award for their division. Nine seniors won the scholar athlete award. As you can see, Many have excelled in the area of academics, fine arts, and athletics. Most of all, the entire class has set the tone for Warren Woods Tower. Maturity, respect for one another, the desire to learn, and the determination to succeed. Ms. Denwith, the seniors sitting before you have met the requirements for graduation as prescribed by the Warren Woods Board of Education. I present to you the class of 2021, Ms. Denwith. Thank you, Mr. McKenzie. I personally want to take a moment to thank Mr. McKenzie and everyone for being here today. I think we were trying to figure it out. I think this is the most people that have been in the stadium in two years. Is that true? Today. So congratulations. I also want to take a moment to personally congratulate the class of 2021. Both Kara and Tyler mentioned perseverance. Obviously, you have been able to do that to make it here today. Despite missing many milestones, you have shown your strength and adaptability, two characteristics that will serve you well wherever your life takes you. Congratulations for not being afraid of the hard work, not being afraid of new experiences, for tackling the work that it took to succeed, and for making the most of all the opportunities Warren Woods provided to you. That perseverance will serve you well. In a year where you missed out on a lot of milestones, I will still leave you with the Warren Woods traditional words of writer Frank Outlaw, which we believe will serve as a guide for your future and for ours. Watch your thoughts, they become words. Watch your words, they become actions. Watch your actions, they become habits. Watch your habits, they become character. Watch your character, it becomes your destiny. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Graduates, please prepare to receive your diplomas.
Oops, this is the thing. As the graduates prepare to receive their diploma, we're going to let you know we're doing things a little differently this year. They will not be coming up alphabetical. We gave them the opportunity to sit with their friends, so they will be handing a card to Mr. Hustick and Ms. Kalaluka, and they will be reading their names, and they will walk across the stage. I need like my Britney Spears. Yeah, I was like, yeah, that's why I was low. Space to delay yeah. it so they could okay. find the, so they oh, could find the names. Yeah, oh, back up. Because they need a little extra time to get to the diplomas. You want to just do every other one? No, we can't. Are you sure? Yeah, she said we can't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do every other one for these ones. Ask, ask my question. Okay, go ahead. There. We also Just have? for these, okay. Tyler Scripture. Yep. Yeah. Tyler William Scripshack. Kara <laughs> Renee Sanders. Hannah Nora Dutz. Megan Fanazzo. Kendall Nicole Widener. Jewel Lynn Jahans. Damalola Olabanji. Dominic Eugene Johnson. Alexa Ann Gadia. Fatima Martinez. Dominic Gerace. <laughs> Kayla Gerace. <laughs> Samantha Gerace. Kaylee Rebecca Pinks. Isa Corey. Drew Allen Wilson. Kinshin Yang.
Isabella Gail Voinov. Charles Michael Schofen. Charlie Utterback. Brooke Course. Emma Bullock. Cheyenne Dial. Caleb James Mealy. You're welcome. Brianna Kaminsky. Sarah Simonson. Elijah Stevens. Brendan Buttrell. King Su Vang. Gavin, I named my son Gavin. Gavin Shoebridge. Matthew David. <laughs> William Pierce Hiller. Dominic Angel Gerben. <laughs> Isabella Rose Vihar.
Madison May Plazinski. Dustin Dennis Hodell. Derek Jacob Estrakis. Joey Imalowski. Congrats, Jack. Jack Delisle. Tashud Ahmed Miazi. Amel Didik. Marwan Hatem Saleh. Yusuf Zahir. Saher Samir Alos. Julian Jonah Lazar. Huang Vu. Huang Vu. Huang Vu. Dakota Dryer Baker. Dakota. Uh -huh. okay. I know. Congrats. Andrew Lead. Charity Nank. Asia McNeil. Amy Marie Lloyd. Kaylee Wheeler. Okay. Kaylee Wheeler. Alex, Alex McCauley.
Tia Kennedy. Angel Lynn. Elise Hill. Katiana Daniels. Melanie Ann Lucas. Mayasa Madison. Michael Monroe. <laughs> Travaris Ucart Jr. Devin Dennings. Colin Gregerson. Mansoor. Ethan Joshua Mansoor. Andrew Michael Lobsinger. Kaylee Janiskevich. Vera Didu. Sierra Renee Hill. Nathaniel Hawthorne. Don't say, congrats, dude. Congratulations. Austin Joseph Lurzak. Phoenix Vu. <laughs> Mario Ponder. Hi. Yeah, it is. 
Joseph Nuri Tuma. Congrats, Joseph. Hunter Lloyd Jackson. Jaden Michael Miner. You want Michael? Yeah. Jacob Michael Shaver. Madison Egg Eggleton. Chandler Lane Barnes. Tyler Gerald Jelzowski. Dylan Jeffrey Nil. Alexis Atkinson. Stacy Sheedle. Samantha Torrell. Autumn Lundgren. Congrats, Josh. Dunno. 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 Dun
Zoe Rosemary Montgomery. Kimber Nicole Boyd. Eliza Mary Portalski. Cruz Tavalachi. Nuha Ahmed. <laughs> Ufa Chuhodri. Emma Jablonski. Katie Pablor Fusi. Nafisa Huda. Marissa Hutun Cardanis. Sadia Shahid. How you doing, Devin? Good. Congrats, Devin. Devin Nathaniel Gardella. Paige Madison Gardella. Christina Danzer. Haley Jason. Woo! 
David Ackerman. Jack Ratchko. Madison Renee Kiefler. Emily Ranchetto. Garrett Bauer. Haley Kershewski. Sieda Kalsum Bugum. Joey May. Maybe they should be taking the cards with them. Maybe they should be taking the cards with them. Are they supposed to? I don't know. Justice Matea Glasgow. Nathan Chang. Savannah Vilk. Almir Ravancic. Jacob Vang. Darnasia Lachelle Bellamy. Allison Elizabeth Bell. Victoria Grace Rivers. William Coburn. Brianna Lugovich. 
Rihanna. Brianna Slekovich. <laughs> Kayla Yang. Brianna Cashman. Sarah Catherine Pochelle. Samantha Hurst. Samantha Childs. Holly Reyna Tanzas. Congrats, Alex. Alexander DeSmith. <laughs> Haley Lynn Johns. Stephen Kevin Kettlehut. Congrats, Jada. <laughs> Jada Rose Cavalar. Matthew Booth. It's Walther. Zachary William Walther. Oh, you get Hudson. This is this is a hard last name. Mitskowski. <laughs> Congrats, Hudson. Hudson David Mitskowski. Jonathan George Genovich. Congrats, Mackenzie. Mackenzie Morgan Glass. Christopher Gowell Jr. Audrey Megan Boudreau. I like, I like your shoe, Cam. Thank you. Cameron Williams. Joseph Aaron Haynes Jr. Hallie Grace Nicholas. Hallie Grace Nicholas. 
Caitlin Rosemack. Hannah Marie May. Hannah Marie Vihar. Emerald Rose Bernacki. All these kids were wearing masks when I saw them to pick up those letters. It's so Jermaine Jermaine Taiwan Woods. Jermaine Taiwan Woods. Diba Chowdhury. <laughs> Nina Kelly. Tyler Scott McAllister. Shane Ostero. Joshua Fair. Alexander Bowden. Alexander Bowden. Cameron Pippen. You got this. You got this, Gwen. How do you pronounce your first name? Guinevere. Guinevere Ives. Amber Smith. Tyler Oliveri. Oliveri. Tyler Oliveri. Kayla McAuliffe. Joelle Marie Wilson. Destiny Lanise Jackson. Destiny Lanise Jackson. Maya Davis. Oh my gosh, I had her and she looks so different. <laughs> Why are they not getting the best? I don't know. Okay, let's go. You got that. Angel Hamilton. Angel Hamilton. Sid Marino. Sid. Kyle Cooper. Do I get Kyle? 
You get kind of close. Sydney Alex Marino. Jasmine Moa. Uh -oh. Chelsea. Chelsea Smith. Kyle Kulik. Good. Kyle Kulik. Winston May. Andrew Menigan. Grant Zwig. Evan Vasquez. <laughs> Lucas Morgan. Hin. Kevin Hinn. Louis Dupre. Cheyenne Jakubowski. Cheyenne Jakubowski. Fiad Chowdhury. Caleb Stray. Sadman Nihal. Justin Vu. Yeah, no, it was me. Okay, I it up. Sorry. No, I. Sorry. No. Me. I couldn't remember. No, I. I was not. Asia Chang. Asia Chang. <laughs> Jackie Chang. Kayla Mack. Congrats. Carl Coley. Carl Congrats, Coley. Carl. Carl Coley Jr. Adonis Marsh. Nicholas. 
Mikus Ramon Simmons the second. Alexis Jenkins. Tiana Turner. Deasia Sneed. <laughs> Thomas Gregory Essenmacher. Daniel Chafee, the sixth. John, congrats. John Wilczek. Austin Tomlin. Chase Fields. Curtis Carl Jones. Aldrin Michael Caballero. Mark Anthony Hoffman the third. Colin Flanagan. Joseph Brodzik. Noah Michael Tefalini. What? Trevor Scrovanko. China Dixon. Yeah, there's only fanatics of the kids rolled on. Yeah. Shania Unique Dyson. Donovan Brownlee. I like those shoes. Cornelius. Cornelius P. Hobbs. Dante Anthony James. Congrats, Dante. 
How'd you say the last part? Ibarra. Ibarra. Mm -hmm. Brian Estrada Ibarra. Lovey Macklin Jr. <laughs> Kayla Howard. <laughs> Jordan Simone Marble. Brittany Marie Nybert. <laughs> Olivia Judith Palazzolo. <laughs> Dominic Michael Clark. Ian Davies. Christopher George Newland. Percy Canty Jr. Percy Canty Jr. Sierra Francis Jeter. Jayla Tiana Wright. Arlisha Jasmine Gooden. Zoa Mahmood. Christina Heisoli. Fariza Kuirshi. Carnahan. Okay. Mary Carnahan. Dwayne Mitchell. <laughs> Michael Pop. <laughs> Bien Bays. Roy McCary the fourth. Gabrielle Fultz. <laughs> Hi, 
Brooke Ledbetter. Serenity Clark. Mary McElrath. Kendall Labonte. Gary Remy Jr. Krista Therese Siminski. And last, but certainly not least, Cora Noel Fontana. All right, congratulations to all. I want a special thank you to Mr. Keen and Mr. K for helping pass out the diplomas. Normally we do this alphabetically and it's a stressful job. When we do it not alphabetically, it's an incredibly stressful job. So thank you very much to those two. Chosen by a distinguished panel to make, chosen by a distinguished panel to make this evening's reflection address is Ms. Jewel Jahans. Jewel is a summa cum laude graduate and has been a member of the National Honor Society for two years. This year, she was awarded the role of secretary. Also, she was awarded the President's Education Excellence Award and the Michigan Competitive Scholarship. Her honors include the University of Michigan Hale Scholarship. Jewel plans to attend the University of Michigan where she plans to study early education. I present to you Ms. Jewel Johns. Class of 2021. <sighs> it has been a very long, yet very short four years. From freshman orientation to graduation, we put so much time and effort to arrive at this day, although we did not do it alone. It's important to give thanks to the teachers and staff who have assisted us. They have selflessly shared their time and endeavors with us that otherwise would not allow us to be here today. Yes, we know it's their job, but there's far more too many educators in this country who do not have their students' best interests at heart but not at One Woods Tower. It's also important to give thanks to our families. <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> to every felt sorry. <laughs> to whoever fed us, clothed us, kept us company, and loved us. Thank you. To our friends from my first day of school, to whoever was with us on our last, thank you to all of them. They have kept us from feeling lonely, ate us back on our feet when we were knocked down, and made us laugh. We must especially thank our surrounding classmates. They have been there for us unknowingly every single day. From needing help on an assignment late at night to being a partner on a project, we have a lot to thank our, our classmates. Without them, school would not have been the same. Just their presences made a positive effect difference on our scholar careers. There are times where I genuinely did not think I would make it to this day. Teachers, staff, family members, friends, and classmates such as you here today whew, have pushed me to complete this long journey aside you. I cannot thank any of you enough. We've gone through so much together, whether you've been in this district for 13 years or one. We are all a family with trials and tribulations we've conquered to be here today. 
Frederick W. Robertson once said, instruction ends in the schoolroom, but education ends only with life. With this diploma, regardless of your next step in life, the learning does not end. I encourage you to all continue learning and seeking new knowledge. No one can take this day and the last 12 years plus of your life from you. Graduating high school is not easy, but you managed to make it. For the rest of your life, you will hold this honor presented to you today. Never let anyone deter your hard work that has gotten you here. I can name something unique about every single one of my classmates sitting in front of me today to show how special this class is. While I'm pretty sure every class says that every year, I have a strong feeling we are different than the others, even without the circumstances we have been put through. Pre-COVID-19, we were energetic, loving, proud, determined, and hopeful, with every class before and after us will not be able to say regardless of the pandemic. Now post-outbreak, we are all those adjectives, plus persistent, tenacious, strong-willed, diligent, and indestructible. I know once the first quarantine was announced last March, many of us were excited just to have a break from school, but things quickly took a serious turn. As we are now, over a year later, finally relieved from the 11.59 p.m.s, Microsoft team malfunctions, lack of snow days, and confusing school day schedules, we drew some of the positive experiences we had in the 2020 to 2021 and 2019 to 2020 school years. However, this past school year and the last has taken so much from us that we spent our, our scholar careers looking forward to. Things such as our homecoming weekend festivities, many of our spring senior, sorry, many of our senior spring break trips, powder puff games, Friday night sport events, our all night party in which we would say our final goodbyes tonight and other things, just like going to school every day, only having seven tickets to graduation and too many more. Our new normal was not normal. Thankfully, we were able to have a semi-normal graduation, but it's difficult to only pick seven people to invite. This day is such a huge celebration for each and every one of us, which makes it so difficult not being able to share this with more of the closest people in our lives. That's why we have each other to embrace and, and honor each other in this extraordinary moment we'll all share forever. If you run into a classmate sometime in the future, do not be shy. We mark and catch up. These are the people we've spent five days a week with for hours. There's no reason to become utter strangers with all these memories we share. Typically, a student writing a commencement speech would add that they see future innovators in front of them. Well, there will be some, I know my class. I see future video game enthusiasts that might break a world record, caring mothers, loving fathers, essential health care workers, powerful politicians, robust laborers in every seat, someone who will make a positive difference, small or large. The future for the class of 2021 only goes up from here. We are prepared to take on the world with full force. There's absolutely nothing that could stop us. This is not merely a goodbye, yet it is a send it off to the rest of our lives. Our lives have already started. It does not start here. But now, we are challenged to take the next step. No matter what you choose, I hope it brings joy, contentment, good fortune, and everything you've ever dreamed of. This group of people give me, gives me hope for a bright future in our communities and even in society. The future awaits for us to shape it. Let's make the most of it. <laughs> Thank you, Jewel. I would now like to take a moment to personally congratulate the class of 2021, the 38th graduating class of Warren Woods Tower High School. I am confident that Warren Woods has prepared you to make the right choices. So, anything interesting happened your senior year? Before I really begin, I need to take a moment to address COVID in the past 15 months. And I would be remiss if I didn't start with some thank yous. First, the entire staff at WWT. They all went above and beyond, trying their best to provide as much normalcy as, po as possible while keeping our students safe. What we asked our teachers to do was monumental. While I'm sure there are a few other schools that did it the way we did it, there were not many. Asking teachers to work on two platforms at the same time, teaching kids in front of them and online was a tremendous feat. By doing this, we were able to offer the entire course catalog, keep our in-person class sizes small, and allow students the flexibility to move between online and in-person instruction. I'd like to thank the Warren Woods Board of Education as well as Ms. Denoweth and the rest of the district administrators. Their job is an often, often thankless one, even in the best of times. Trying to lead a district during a global pandemic, balancing the needs of students, parents, staff, 
all while following ever-changing guidelines from the county, state, and federal government was a daunting task. I know many of you expressed frustration, but I am proud of the fact that I know of only one or two other high schools in the entire area that had more in-person days of instruction than WWT. I want to thank the parents for their patience and support. From ever-changing schedules and guidelines to worrying about learning platforms and quarantines, your support and words of, of support and encouragement mean more than you will ever know. To the parents of my seniors, this was a particularly tough and at times sad year. I lived it with you as my son Connor graduated from Armada High School last week. It was definitely not the senior year any of us dreamed for our kids. Finally, to my seniors, take a deep breath. You guys did it. I want to thank you for your perseverance and your determination to get here tonight. It was not easy for you and you missed out on a lot. But the lessons you learned to help you get here far outweigh what you've ever learned in the classroom. Last week, when most of you assembled to do your senior walk, it really sank into me, in for me when I got to address you as a class for the first time since you were newly crowned juniors in September of 2019. It sank in just how much I really missed you. Many of you were in person throughout the year, but we all know it wasn't the same. Seeing you walk the halls and then get a chance to sit on the senior wall in the Commons for the first and last time was one of those moments I'll never forget. Some of you took advantage of the time during the pandemic to better yourself, to grow, mature, even prosper. Others of you lost your way a little bit. And while it's understandable with all you went through, it's time to find your way back. It's time to focus on being not just the person you want to be, but the person you know you're meant to be. You might be wondering why there's a sticky note and a pencil on your chair when you got to your seat. I'm going to ask you to do something I've never asked a class to do at commencement. I'm going to ask you to do some work. Every new year, I am asked by a friend to think of one word that I want to focus on for the upcoming year. This year, I chose the word appreciate. Despite everything we went through, this year taught me to appreciate. It taught me to appreciate all things, but especially the little things. The little things I used to take for granted or even dislike. On one half of your sticky note, I ask that you write one word that summarizes how you feel about leaving high school and your future. Not a simple task to reduce all those thoughts down to one word, but give it a shot. And I'll give you a second to think about it, and if it doesn't come right away, that's all right. Take some time, and you can write about it later on. If you are comfortable, share your word with your friends and your guests. Sometimes that makes it a little more real. What this year also taught me is the importance of relationships and connections. Some of you lost family members or friends this year. Some of you spent days on end with little or no personal contact. Humans by nature are social beings. We do better when we feel connected with others. Work on your relationships. Make new connections. Be that connection for others. Feel connected. On the other side of your sticky note, I'd like you to write the names or name of the person or people that have had the biggest impact on you being here tonight. And when you walk out as graduates in a little bit, I ask you to reach out to them and let them know how much they mean to you and how much you appreciate them for all they have done. Now, most of you have seven guests here tonight that are gonna help hold you accountable for doing this. This is one of those activities that will help strengthen your connections. Now, over the years, there's a couple messages that I've tried to instill in you. One is how fast high school will go. I think you believe me now. For good or for bad, life will continue to move even faster. Just ask your parents or grandparents. Another consistent message is to give yourself options. Put yourself in a position to have choices as your journey progresses. A more recent message that has really hit home for me is that I feel there are three keys to success. None of them easy, none of them happen overnight. The first concept is to reflect, spend time in thought, write, have honest conversations with yourself and others. Reflect on who you are, who you've become, and the person you want to be, your dreams, your goals, your aspirations. The second concept is maybe the most difficult of the three. It is to believe, to believe in yourself, to believe in the person you can be. 
believe that you can make a difference. My hope is that you reach the point where you believe in yourself as much as the people close to you believe in you. The final concept is to act, understanding that there can be no growth without action. Reflection without action can be meaningless, just as action without reflection can be dangerous. Reflect, believe, act, and you will succeed. Now, over the years, I've spoken about movies, personal memories, staff, lots of things. This year, with Connor graduating and my daughter Dara being a freshman, it was a TV show that really resonated with me. Now, most of you probably haven't seen it. It's, it was on before you were born, but your parents might have seen it. It's called The Wonder Years, and it follows the life of Kevin Arnold as he enters junior high school in 1968, one of the most turbulent years in our recent history, not unlike this past year. The series progresses through Kevin's time in high school and is narrated by an adult Kevin as he reflects on his journey through adolescence. It covers the trials and the tribulations and the triumphs of being a teenager. Relationships, parents, school, the future, peer pressure, fears, self-doubt, all of it. Those experiences and emotions that you've been dealing with over the past few years. When the series finally comes to an end, Kevin reflects on those years as a time of wonder. a time of admiration, and of something beautiful. That is my hope for you, that one day when you look back on your journey through adolescence and WWT, that despite all the obstacles, obstacles you've overcome, that you will look at this time of wonder as something special that you will always cherish. More importantly, I hope you continue to look for that sense of wonder as you get older. It's not quite as easy, but maybe more important. Always look for the good in everything and everyone. And finally, in what has become a custom, I would like to end with a quote by an author that is most associated with children's books. But this quote is from his last book and is really meant for occasions like this evening. I leave you tonight with the words of Dr. Seuss. You are on your own and you know what you know. You are the guy who will decide where to go. Will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. 98 and 3 quarters percent guaranteed. Kid, you will move mountains. Congratulations to the Warren Woods Tower class of 2021. I wish you the very best. And as always, be safe, make smart decisions, and go out and move your mountain. All right, we are going to try something very special tonight. And I'm going to explain it before I, have you, before I have you rise. In a minute, I'm going to ask the audience to stand. Then I'm going to ask the graduates to stand. I will then ask you to turn your tassel. After you turn your tassel, you guys are going to file out of the outside of each line, outside of each line, and you're going to walk to the middle of center field. And you're going to get together as a group, and we're going to do a group picture, and then you guys are going to throw your caps in the air together. After that, you're going to walk back to where you assembled. Before you walked in, you're going to grab your envelope, you're going to grab all the stuff that's been given to you, and then you can meet up with your parents. All right, Mr. Fredlin will be waiting for you out in center field. All right, here we go. Would the audience please rise? Graduates, please rise. Graduates, you may turn your tassel. All right, congratulations to the class of 2021. Let's walk out to center field. Don't go any further. We'll just come right here.
do on the count of three, and then we're going to toss it. All right, on the count of three, I present the Warren Woods Tower Class of 2021. Graduates on the count of three, one. Oh, sorry, hold on, we'll wait. All right, on the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> Congratulations, class of 2021. <laughs>